Howdy again, everybody. This is Doc from Thoroughfan coming to you with the name behind the race. And this week we are heading back over to Big Sandy, Belmont Park, for a race that I actually had a little bit of a curiosity about when looking over the stake schedule. And it is the Mother Goose happening for three year old fillies this weekend at Belmont Park. And well, uh, exactly which Mother Goose was it named for? I'm about to show you as we look at the name behind the race. Ah, Mother Goose, that calming voice who kept so many children entertained with her various stories and nursery rhymes. Yep, that Mother Goose has absolutely nothing to do with the stakes race of the same name. Sorry, kids. The Mother Goose is actually named for the horse, Mother Goose, who was owned by one of the great owners in thoroughbred history, Harry Payne Whitney. The race was named in honor of the filly, who in 1924 beat the boys in the Belmont Futurity, which at the time was considered the most important stakes race in the country. She can be seen on the rail and on the lead on her way to victory here in that race. Note that back in those days, races at Belmont were actually run in the clockwise direction we are used to seeing European races run in today. Whitney did seem to have a way with the ladies when it came to the Triple Crown events, though, having owned one of only three fillies to ever win the race, Regret in 1913, and one of only three fillies to ever win the Belmont Stakes, Tanya, in 1905, which also happened to be the first year the Belmont was actually run at Belmont Park. Inaugurated as a stakes race in 1959, it has fluctuated between being a grade one and grade two race for three-year-old fillies. It has also spent time being part of, and not part of, what is known as the Triple Tiara Series, a series of three stakes races in New York for three-year-old fillies that was supposed to mimic the Triple Crown for the boys. Eight horses actually won the Triple Tiara when the Mother Goose was part of the series, and those horses have been flashing before you here. Never really caught on like people had hoped, though, and while the Triple Tiara does still exist today, the Mother Goose is no longer part of the series. The Mother Goose has had more than its share of memorable performances throughout the years. From Ruffian's Romp in 1975. To Rachel and Alexander's Canter in, in stakes record time in 2009. And she's pouring it on in a dazzling display here. Nothing left for the other two. Coming down to the final 16th of a mile, her march to greatness continues. Rachel Alexandra wins eased. Again, a huge margin. It was almost 20 lengths again. However, most fans will probably agree perhaps the best Mother, the mother goose, goose ever run was what Leroy and Jolly Mike termed Mike the mother of all gooses in 1991. Right and he should know, for he had one of the favorites in 1992-year-old champion Meadow Star. She was going up against the quickly improving filly and winner of the Kentucky Oaks that year, Light Light. Light Light was owned by the Burrell family, whose son Stanley you might know better as the rapper MC Hammer. Hammer time! Hammer time! It's it was a race that was billed as the clash of the three-year-old Philly Titans, and it did not disappoint. Run, and here's the race we've been waiting for. Meadow Star in front by a head. Light, light, they're moving inseparably as they come to the top of the stretch, pulling away from the field. Meadow Star is tested here. Light, light is right at her neck. They're still inseparable as they come down the stretch here at Belmont Park. Meadow Star fully extended. Light, light surging on the outside. Light, light ahead in front at the eighth pole. Meadow Star is coming back. back. What a thriller as they come down to the finish. Meadow Star determined. Light, light unwavering. Here's the finish. And it is very close. Meadow Star right there. Light, light on the outside. Well, there you have it. Probably not maybe the Mother Goose a lot of people were thinking of when they look at the name Mother Goose, but still a very interesting story nonetheless. And uh, really, who can argue with that 1991 Mother Goose battle, Light Light and Meadow Star, just an absolutely amazing stretch battle. And uh, a lot of people said that 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 really was Meadow Star's finest performance. She she kind of peaked in that race and just never seemed to regain that, that form uh, after that amazing stretch battle with Light Light. So uh, that's about going to do it for this week's segment.
segment of the name behind the race. If you happen to have a race that you're curious about the history or the name behind, be sure to drop us a line here at Thoroughfan. I'll be happy to research it for you. And you never know, it might actually end up on a future segment. I'm Doc for Thoroughfan, and we will see you next time on the name behind the race. If you're an incredibly passionate thoroughbred racing fan and want to find a whole bunch of people that are just like you, why not check out Thoroughfan at thoroughfan.com. Sign up to become a member, get our amazing weekly newsletter, and learn everything and anything there is to know about this amazing sport we call thoroughbred horse racing. Thoroughfan, giving the fans a voice.